So this is probably like I've heard a lot of great things from this guy. And you'll listen to this no, because I, obviously I, you and I have gone beyond just work relationships and we're friends, right? Yeah. And and people keep on looking for that golden like treasure. And the golden treasure is that proximity of power. Yeah. That's all it is, right? Mm -hmm. It really is all it is. So you have opportunities to connect with power and then you provide value to that power and then you back out and you keep on trying to do your own thing because you have this idea, I should do my own thing. But along the way, I can tell you that my success journey, I'm one of those who make $10 million in a year, right? I'm in that 1% of the 1%. So in, in, in my journey, if I take away proximity of power, I am nowhere near where I'm at today. Like that journey for me began with, I found power source in my father and I connected and I got close to it. So to his point, he said, Vic said, you want to be like a leech to this power, but you're not because the power would not allow leeches to connect with them. They push them away and close the doors to leeches. But people that come in flow in power, that's who we open the door to. And then we build together. So you might be like, yeah, I want to be like Manuel. I want to be a CEO. But what you don't see is the fact that along the journey, I obsessed over proximity with power. I connected with Dr. Berg, proximity with power. My dad, proximity with power. Victimness, proximity with power. Like consistently, I just want to connect. And now I'm here at Vic's house and we're good friends. And he takes me on a yacht experience and I connect with people that are incredible and all of it because I have the proximity of power. But if I wouldn't have given him the value that I have given him, he wouldn't have allowed me to connect with him. Like, I'm just gonna be a leech. Close the door to this guy. But because I connect with him and I say, how can I give you the best that I got? I'm gonna give it to you. Boom. And then we do results and then we do incredible things. And then he says, okay, fine. I'll let you into my space because real power does not allow people to just come and vampire out of them. Real power does not allow people that are sucking blood out of them. Real power recognizes when people are just sucking blood and closes the door on them. And that's one of the abilities and superpowers that we have. We know when somebody's just interested in their own benefit instead of just flow and power. Mm -hmm. And that's why we close the door. The reason that you're here sitting on this table today with us is because, because I know you're not a leech. Because I know what you are and I know what you do. And I said, hey, dude, I'm going to pay you a lot of money to be a part of this, all right? I already vouch for you. If I don't vouch for you, you're not in the stable. 100%. That's the reason you're here. And why did I vouch for you? Proximity with power. Because you kept on connecting with me. You kept on providing value to me. You kept on in communication nonstop for all the years, right? Nonstop. We become friends. And because of that, I'm like, we need Jake on the team. So now you have a contract. And now you're getting good paid, a paid amount of money. But that's just the beginning of it. If you just take it as a job instead of like, wow, a door was opened. I better walk through it because this guy makes millions of dollars a year. This guy makes millions of dollars a year. He's so made, I'm so made. How stupid of me would it be to somehow keep on trying to be the next Mr. Beast when I have these guys that can open up this world of opportunities. Dude, this guy took me to a yacht two weeks ago and he introduced me to a world that I had no idea it existed. I could afford that world. I had no idea it existed. If he doesn't take me there, I don't understand what that world is all about. It's like next level stuff. So you don't know what you don't know. You really don't know what you don't know and the true potential. But you got to like that whole thing. If you it boils down to every single one of these successful people. Going back to the beginning of the conversation is just being able to decide on that one thing. Yeah. Stopping everything else and you do that one thing over and over again, especially if you know that's the that's the path for you, and just doing it if possible with proximity to power. Those things combined, dude, whatever your dreams are, they're freaking real. And yeah. this was all captured in video, so it's absolutely gold and it's a fact that applies to anybody else. Mm -hmm. Because the most stupid thing that anybody can do in the world is connect with power and screw up that relationship. And it doesn't mean like, oh, Vic is too special and, you know, he's on this different world and nobody can access him because he's too special and he, you know, he thinks he's the best. We, we have the evidence of success and we have a lot of people that help us along the way. But we are here today because of what we accomplished 
with all our energy and our own work. And those doors were opened for us. We walked through them and now we're opening up doors for everybody else. Some people take the opportunities. We don't want leeches. We want people that want to come in and provide value. That's what we want. If you're a leech, you get the out, right? But if you're going to provide value like you're providing value, like that was value right there, then welcome. We're going to introduce you to our world. And the more value you provide, the more power that power flows back to you. It is a formula that it doesn't, it doesn't fail. The more you go in there and you disagree with the nine to fives and the current systems and all that stuff, the more freaking power you get back. It is freaking magical and inescapable, man. So if you wanted to go down a path that really opens up massive doors, you go all in with one thing and you stick with it. And that's what leads to our massive expansion. And like Vic was talking about, all these guys, Jeff Bezos and the, the Elon Musk and all, this, uh, all these guys over the years, they just stuck with one thing and they starved for a while. People like you are not starving anymore, right? You, you know, you, you guys get paid good money. But still, a lot of these guys, they just really like said, I'm, I'm all in. I either die doing this or I make it. And because of that, they are who they are today. So it's very, very uniform across all these stories. And the ones that never succeed, that end with the nine to fives, that they're not really happy about, that they have to drag themselves to work every day, those are the ones that did a little bit of everything. That's the truth. A little bit of everything to see what hits. Mm -hmm. Eventually, something's going to stick. Those are the ones flipping burgers in McDonald's. That's the truth, right? So I, I did my thing and I went into my thing. He did, he did his thing, he went into his thing. And until we, don't, we didn't make it go right, we just didn't stop, right? You um, can be successful just by, just by being in the proximity. And the thing with, with this guy is that he brings something to this proximity that you don't have and I don't have. It adds to it, right? It adds yeah, to that power, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right? Yeah, you gotta add value, right? But when you, when you, when you like, if, if I was walking down the street and I saw somebody that was very, very successful, and I wanted to have a level of success, I, I would go clean his shoes. Hey, what else can I do? I show up every day at his house. Hey, what can I do? What can I do? I would clean Vic's Vic Seth's shoes. What can I do? The you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, 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 because you're gonna, you're, you're just, it's just, it's mathematical. It's mathematical because the successful people, they want other people that are, that are willing to get on the train. And when somebody's willing to get on the train, successful people flow out of that. You know that guy that he was telling the story about? The New York guy? I got to just hang out with him for a little bit, all right? I was leaving his shoes right now. Which guy? Making the amount, or is that a different guy? Different guy. New York also. New York, yeah. 30,000 employees, billionaire, all right? We're not oh, gonna throw his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about, yeah, right? Yeah. We got to hang out with him for a little bit. Incredible. You think about what Grant Cardone has done? Multiply it times. 20 times. And this is who this guy is that we got to hang out with for a little bit. I will clean his shoes. Right now, being a wealthy that I am, I will clean his shoes. Right now. Do I need you do I need to wash his clothes? Like, do I need to like somehow dry him up after a shower? I'll do it because I need to understand how we got there. Because he's showing me a world that I had no idea it even existed. Plus opportunities come up, right? opportunities come up and successful people need the right people to put in those opportunities because you can't do everything yourself. I can't do everything myself. I have 400 employees. What is my number one problem? The right people. The right people. The and that's, that's, uni right that's uniformly throughout the world. Successful people, their most difficult issue is finding other people that they can put in important positions that they can trust. It's very few. 100%. Very few, because there's just there's there's not that many people. Hundred percent. 